After weeks of tough negotiations in, uh, with religious and far-right coalition partners, Benjamin Netanyahu has announced that he has succeeded in securing a deal to form a new government in Israel. It will be the most right-wing coalition in Israel's history. Netanyahu made this announcement on Twitter minutes before a midnight deadline set by President Isaac Herzog. The announcement came after Netanyahu's conservative Likud party and like-minded religious nationalist parties close to the ultra-orthodox and West Bank settler communities won a comfortable majority in the elections, 1st of November elections here. Promising him 64 of Parliament's 120 seats. But the agreement to form a government was held up by disputes over a package of proposed legislation on issues ranging from planning authority in the West Bank to ministerial control over the police. The new government, which Netanyahu must now present within a week, will take office after a year. That has seen the worst levels of violence in the West Bank in more than a decade. With over 150 Palestinians and more than 20 Israelis killed, Israel will finally get a stable government after a turbulent period that saw Israelis go to the polls five times in less than four years. But the weeks of negotiations have made it clear that the coalition may still face significant internal tensions. Netanyahu has said that he will ultimately set the Israeli policy and has also pledged to govern the interests of all citizens in Israel. Aradere, leader of the ultra-Orthodox party, is a key player in the new parliament who has been promised the interior and health portfolios. Netanyahu is returning after serving a record 15 years in the top office, is on trial for corruption charges that he denies. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.